Hey guys, it's Sean from RideSharing101.com with the daily vlog. And I wanted to I wanted to share a rideshare story today. And this one was interesting because a, a couple of things happened. So it was early in the morning. I think probably, I want to say 4.30ish, 4.30 a.m. And I get a request for a pickup and it's to a hotel by the airport. So I drive and I'm pulling into the driveway and there's a woman, she comes out of the office and she's like gesturing and kind of directing me and like, hey, it's here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm the only car. You're the only person. I've got the Uber decal. I kind of figured, you know, it was you. I didn't say that to her because I'm still in the car driving in, but you know, she's like, hey, you know, I guess she's never had an uber or a cab before but anyway i pull up i'm waiting um and this guy comes out and he gets in you know i say hi i'm sean your uber driver he's like oh great hi you know he gets in and he's just going to the airport just down the road it's gonna be like a short little fare so i ask um well where are you going to and he's like oh i'm going to um brazil and I go, oh, are you, you know, going on vacation? And then he goes, no, my dad died. And I'm like, oh, you know, my heart sinks a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of feeling. Normally, I'm, I'm cheery, and you know, and I, but I kind of feel bad now. It's 4:30 in the morning, and the guy has basically just told me that his dad died. So I kind of feel, kind of like a dummy. Um, even though, you know, I was trying to be happy and engaging and he's like, Oh no, no, it's, he goes, it's okay. He goes, he was 94. He wasn't sick and he went very quickly, went in his sleep and probably didn't even know it. So if you have to go that way, then, you know, it, it was, it was very peaceful and we were very lucky. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And then I tell the story about my grandfather was, you know, he passed away when he was 96. So, you know, he was lucky to have him so long. And, you know, we go through all that stuff. And the guy is, he's in a surprisingly good mood. Because I think, you know, when he said, oh, his dad died, he's remembering the good times that he had with his father. And he's really happy about the fact that his dad wasn't in pain. His dad went quickly. And that, you know, it, it wasn't painful and, and his, his dad could, you know, exit this world in a, in a, in a peaceful manner. And I said, oh, um, I said, are you, are you, you know, are you from Brazil? And he goes, oh yeah, I was, I was born there. And I go, oh, wow. I go, you, you don't, you don't have an accent. And he's like, oh, he's like, thank you. He goes, I, I've been here for about 30 years, but if you get me going, you'll, you'll definitely hear an accent. And I said, oh, okay. I go, well, I wish I, I spoke some Portuguese, but I, I don't know any. And he's like, oh, he's like, that's okay. He goes, most people don't realize that we don't speak Spanish in, in Brazil, that it's Portuguese. So thank you, you know. And we had a nice little conversation uh, just about the importance of family and being together. And um, I was very sort of spiritually sort of uplifted because what could have been a very um, painful and, and sour conversation was a very sort of thought provoking and happy discussion about life. And um, especially as it kind of started when I pulled into the, the parking lot of the hotel and the, the woman is kind of, you know, directing me and I'm like, Oh great. You know, what's this going to be? And it, and it turned out that, um, it was a, it was, it was a very nice moment. And, you know, I, I greatly enjoyed, uh, talking to the gentleman and I, I still, I don't know his name because there was some weird abbreviation. I think it was for the hotel, um, when I got the fare request, but, um, you know, to my friend from Brazil, if you're watching this, um, sorry about the passing of your father, but I had a, a wonderful time speaking, speaking with you. And then shortly after that, I picked up another passenger and I didn't realize till the end, but I had picked her up once before. And it was this younger woman with either an older sister or her mother. I couldn't really tell because it was, it was dark. And the reason I remember is 
the young girl is deaf. I remember once before at the end, I said something and she kind of replied, but I, um, I didn't understand. She made some kind of sounds and, uh, I was like, oh, I think she, she might've been deaf. Um, and, and that was the first time. So, um, this time I go by and she's at the end of a one way street and I, I thought it was a two way alley. So I was like, oh, okay, I need to, to loop around and I'll go down the alley. And I get a text message from her saying, I saw you. I'm ready. I see you driving away. <laughs> and, and I saw that. I was like, oh, that sounds something like, you know, a, a young person would say. And I was like, oh, I hope this person, you know, they, they at least have to be 18. So I, I hope this person's at least 18. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to have to deny them a ride as per the terms of service. But then I pull up and I see that she is young, but then I also see the woman with her is, is definitely over, over 21. So like I said, either her mom or, or an older sister. And, um, so she gets in and I say, Oh, you're, you know, going to whatever the location is. And she kind of tries to say something, but obviously she's not used to speaking. So I don't, it, it comes out more as a sound than, than sort of words, but she makes some gesture and I'm like, Oh, and then I realize, Oh yeah, I think I've, I've driven her before. And I was going to tell her that, but then I realized, Oh, she, you know, she's, uh, she's deaf. So she's not going to hear me. So I'll have to turn and face her and that's not good while you're driving. So, um, you know, I just, I remembered that and I was like, Oh, okay. And it, it reminded me of the story of, I always wanted to learn sign language and I thought sign language was really cool. And I, I still do. So a few years back, I signed up to take a sign language class and it met weekly. It was at a place near my house, actually the old house. So this was about 10 years ago. And the gentleman, the instructor was deaf. So he just starts off signing, which is a great way to learn. It's total, total immersion. And so we went through the, the alphabet, you know, A, B, C through Z. So I learned how to sign my name, which of course I've forgotten by now. And I was like, okay, it was a good start. You know, it was sort of overwhelming, like, oh my gosh, you know, second week, more of the same. And then for whatever reason, the third week, I, I couldn't make it. Something came up. And then when I tried to go back the fourth week, I was just so far behind that I was just like, oh, I, I was just not, not getting any of it. So I, uh, I dropped out and I never went back, unfortunately. And I thought of that at the very end because the woman, she said, thank you. And I think it was something like, you know, thank you. Some kind of gesture like this, you know, I don't know, either fingertips to the lips or something on the chin. So, and, and I recognized, I was like, oh, I, I, I remember that. I think that means thank you. And I was like, damn, why did I ever stop that, that sign language class? And now I'm thinking in the back of my head, you know, I really should, I really should go back because that's something I've always just wanted to learn. And I think it would be useful. It's not like I would use it all the time, but I, I, I just, it's, I, I like communication. I like to communicate and it's just something that, that I would like to do. So maybe in the future, I'll, I'll take another sign language class. I'll go to city college and, and, you know, and take one. So, um, but both those encounters that are on the same day, I think they're almost back to back with the gentleman whose dad passed and then the young woman who obviously knows English because she texted me perfect. And, um, you know, I, I'm just kind of interested, like, what, is, what does she think about? What does she have to say? Um, be interesting just to have a conversation with her. Um, I don't know if she goes to a special school or anything like that. And, you know, even if I never see her again, it would just be, would be nice to communicate with other people that don't speak. Cause I'm sure their perceptions and their world is, is a lot different than ours. So, um, those are some thoughts about the people that I picked up. Um, I wanted to talk about that for a few days now and, um, I, uh, I just remembered it. I'm like, okay, that'll, that'll be today's subject. So these are the things I, I think about different things come up and, um, you know, 
one writer, I'm thinking about life and death. And then the other writer, I'm thinking about communication. So it's, um, it's a wonderful world. And with that, I'll see you next vlog. Check out the website. Thanks.